not gonna lie folks it is freezing today we're gonna do a test this is um should be an interesting test it is winter time now here in canada and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna test the kia soul ev in winter extreme when oh i think this is extreme it's probably minus 17 out with the wind chill last time i checked on weather network we're going to do two tests the first test is going to be driving with it the battery pack at 100 percent dead cold as it is now and uh we're going to drive the same distance we're going to drive maybe 10 kilometers and then we're going to do another test next day where it's supposed to be the exact same temperature hopefully it should be it's it, it's forecasted to be the same temperature what we're going to do is we're, we're going to have the second day the car preheated and we're going to drive the same distance and we're going to come back and see the the energy consumption and we're also going to look at the energy consumption in the climate i want to see how much energy it's drawing when it's cold and the battery pack is cold and the inside is cold to when it's preheated and the battery is warm and how much it's pulling then i'm pretty sure it's going to be a drastic difference i'm guessing because we're going to the second day we're going to heat it up i'm freezing here guys the second day we're going to heat it up to uh 22 maybe 22 and a half degrees a nice comfortable internal cabin temperature and uh, we're going to see how much better it is it's going to be warmer for sure but we're going to see how much better it's going to be for energy consumption okay so let's start it's freezing let me start this car it's 100 percent let's let, let me show you what it is okay let's start this puppy up as you can see over here, it is 100%. We're going to wait for the heat to kick in. We're going to put it on auto. We're going to put it to 22 and a half degrees. We're also going to keep the seats on. Um, we're going to put the steering wheel heater on. So we're going to have three things. We're going to have the heat set automatically at 22 and a half degrees uh, inside the whole entire cabin. We're going to have the heated seats on and we're going to have the heated steering wheel on. We're going to do the exact same tomorrow. See, it says it's minus 7, but trust me, it's like my, it's more than that. It's, more, it's way more than that. We're going to reset the tripometer, and we're going to go. I'm freezing, so let's go. I don't know how this battery is uh, putting up with this extreme cold weather. We've already just lost 1% and I've just driven out of the driveway. We haven't even gone 0.1 kilometers. Okay, we're gonna see what the climate is at now that it's starting to kick in. 22 and a half degrees, it's on auto heat. I suspect it's gonna probably go up to full very shortly. It's almost there now. Let's switch back to the consumption to see what our consumption is. Wow four and a half kilowatts four and a half kilowatts as it struggles to heat up this car and the steering wheel and my seats it's almost hitting five 4.9 i saw there it's now at 3.7 going down 3.65 so between 3.65 oh no it's going down even more 3.4 and i find when now the light is green and i'm going it's going to go up See, it went all the way down to the high twos there, but now that I'm doing 65 kilometers an hour, it's gone up past three now, and I wouldn't be surprised if it goes up to four. I'm doing 70 kilometers an hour. Look at the difference if I didn't have the climate on, the range difference. Wow, it's a difference of 12 kilometers I lose when you're looking at already 100 kilometers. So that's 12% thereabouts, 12% difference with the climate on. Let's see what the climate is at. If we switch back over, it's not at full, which I thought it would be, but it's almost at full. It's, it's two bars short of full. We've already lost 3% and I've only traveled two kilometers. We're gonna keep this going for a bit uh, and I'll let you know uh, what the results are when we come back. Okay, folks, just passed over the five kilometer mark. It's been about uh, maybe five minutes. Um, it's a lot warmer in here now and uh still doing our average about 60 kilometers an hour actually with the stop and go the car says the average is uh 36 kilometers an hour and uh we've been uh powered on for nine minutes so going back over here as we can see 
we're still around three kilowatts of power being pulled for the climate. Even though, like I said, it's it's warmer in here now. The seats are nice and toasty warm. My hands are warm on the steering wheel here. This heated steering wheel is just awesome. Anyways, uh, we are 10 minutes in, six and a half kilometers. I wouldn't really worry about the time really too much because the time could change tomorrow when I do it. But six and a half kilometers, and we're still hovering around the three kilowatt range. It's going down, it's, it's anywhere between, it's, anywhere between the mid to high uh, twos to about three at times. So we've used a lot. Okay, folks, I think this is uh, good enough. We've uh, gone, as you, as you can see, 13 kilometers, sorry, 13 minutes. We've done 8.3 kilometers, an average speed of 37 uh, kilometers an hour. That, and it says minus six, but trust me, it's a lot colder than that. Um, like I said, the time could be different, but what I'm gonna do is try to keep the same uh, distance tomorrow. At 8.3 kilometers, I'll take the same route. And if you come over here, uh, get the sun glare off there. Okay, we're at, at hovering between 2.3, roughly, kilowatts, and the climate's still going. It's still pretty high. As we can put down here, uh, press down here, we can see we've lost one notch. Instead of, uh, it was up, it was up the third last notch. And now it's the fourth last notch. It's probably almost midway point. The fan's slowing down, which means basically the, the car is uh, warming up. And like I said, it feels a lot warmer in here. So we're going to see tomorrow the battery is 90%. So we've used 10% to travel 8.3 kilometers. I don't know if that's going to make a difference tomorrow. Uh, let's see if it does. It should make a difference because what we want to see tomorrow is if this number here, zoom in on that number, we want to see if this number here, sorry for the dusty screen, folks. I want to see if this number here is any lower tomorrow, uh, during the driving and also uh, when we come to a stop. So I'll come back tomorrow and do this all over again, and you'll be seeing this right about now. Okay, folks, it is day two. The car was preheating for exactly half an hour for 22 and a half degrees. So starting her up now, we should be at 100%. Just checking everything here. Yep, we're at 100%. As you can see, it's kicked in pretty good here. 22 and a half degrees. Let's see what our range is gonna be like as we start driving and our um, uh, climate consumption. Reset everything here. Minus 10, minus 17, it's exactly the same as yesterday. Minus 17 with the wind chill. Clean the windows here. And uh, let's start going. We're gonna be doing the exact same route with the same stuff on. The heated seats, the uh, steering wheel on, and at 22 and a half degrees, you know the interesting thing is, Today, the fan speed is one notch higher than it was yesterday, but it's a lot warmer in here, folks. Trust me on this one. It's a lot warmer in here. I'm gonna go back to the consumption. That is the consumption, three, almost four kilowatts as we continue to drive. This is how much warmer it is. I'm in a hooded sweatshirt. I'm not wearing the jacket and everything and the and the um, toque and everything, it's a lot warmer in here. The consumption, it's still pretty high. <laughs> it's uh, upwards of five and a half, between five and five and a half. I'll be the first to say, folks, this isn't the most scientific way to do this. I mean, I'm telling you that it's warmer in here because I can feel it, but I mean, ideally to do this is get a thermometer and uh, test the temperature that was yesterday and the temperature it is today. And also, uh, you know, I guess I could have gotten the kilowatt uh, that I've used by filling it back up and measuring how much I used out of the battery today and yesterday too But this is going to be a non-scientific test. Okay, folks. We are at the five kilometer mark as you can see there uh, Average of 33 kilometers an hour uh, Nine minutes in very similar to yesterday. I think yesterday was like 36 kilometers and like eight minutes in so a little bit slower but about the same speed 
And uh, as you can see, moving over to the kilowatt, we're doing about two, just over two, between two and two and a half. We're at a stop now, so let me see while we're at a stop, let's see what the climate's at. Okay, see, the fan speed has come down. Now it's down to um, the fifth notch. I'm gonna go back up to the, now that I turn the corner here, go back to the consumption and see what that's like. Now we're doing about 60 kilometers an hour and it's um, it's getting up there close to three. Checking in again, we are now at a six and a half kilometers. This is the same check-in point as uh, I did yesterday. We are one point, by one and a half, it'll probably go up to two kilowatts as we continue to go. It's actually going down less. It's actually um, going down to about one. Uh, like I said, the car is pretty warm. We're at seven kilometers now. 11 minutes in and an uh, average speed of 36 kilometers. So it's the same average speed as yesterday. It's actually below one kilowatt. It's now at a three quarters of a kilowatt. Let's go over to see what the fan speed is. Fan speeds come down in half too. Now it's exactly at the halfway point. Uh, four notches on the fan speed. Still at 22 and a half. Okay, folks, we are here exactly, uh, here we go. Same as yesterday, 8.3 kilometers. One extra minute, just 14 minutes, and an uh, average speed of 35, just switched to 34 there. So a little bit slower and a little bit longer because uh, I think we got a little more red lights. Going over to here to the climate screen, as you can see, it's 1.0, uh, basically 1.1. It's climbing a little bit now, 1.1. And let's go over to the climate, see what that's at. Oh, that's gone down considerably more now. Now it's uh, down to three notches, so it's below the halfway point. And like I said, it's pretty toasty warm in here. The heated seats are still on, the steering wheel is still on. So let's talk about the differences here. One quick thing too, folks, uh, we used less battery than we did yesterday. Yesterday we finished off at 90%, today we finished off at 91%. So we actually used less battery. Okay folks, let's sum up what we have here. Yesterday it was uh, cold, the car wasn't preheated, the battery was cold, we started driving, we did the 8.3 kilometers. As you can see, at the end of it, we used 1% more battery than we did. We, we finished off at 90%, whereas the other one we finished off today, 91. The fan speed was a lot lower today. We finished off at like level five or six fan speed yesterday. Today we finished off at level three fan speed. So what that tells you folks, the fan was working less today than it was yesterday because the fan was working less to heat up the cabin. Simple. And the important thing that matters is when we finish off today, we were consuming less kilowatts today. Around one, maybe one and a quarter. Sometimes it actually went down below one. Yesterday, we were in above two and the car was still heating up and still, you're still having a, using quite a bit of, of power to heat up the interior of the cabin. So, you know, it's not a huge significant difference, folks, but, you know, I think we knew this before we started this, that it was probably going to be one of those things where if you start the car and heat up the car before you go out and warm up the battery, you're going to save a lot more energy. Makes sense. It's one of those almost common sense things, but I want to put it to the test and do a little uh, informal experiment. Like I said, this is not scientific or anything like that. Uh, if you guys have uh, different results, put it in the comments below. Let me know um, if you liked it, like it, and uh, we'll try to do some more now that it's winter time. The range is going down a lot more in the car. We're going to try to do a lot more winter experiments type of thing with the Soul EV. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care, folks. My hands are warm on the steering wheel here because um, this, this steering, this heated steering wheel is just awesome. We just got, I don't know if you know, we just got, you have to get an ICE car. We just got a brand new Toyota Highlander. One of the, it's not fully loaded. It's like one trim below fully loaded and it doesn't have a heated steering wheel. So good thing for Kia to actually put in a heated steering wheel in their car.